Okay, guys. I am very happy to do this video. Um, and I'm doing it on my phone because I have another video loading, uploading on my computer. And, uh, yeah, I'm not the greatest video editor as far as combining pictures and video. So, but I, I wanted to put the pictures in there to kind of emphasize my point about, you know, and it's a MGTOW topic. So, once that uploads, I hope you enjoy it. But um, this is going to be something entirely different. And um, yeah, so, um, and I've only had a chance to listen to like literally one and a half of these videos. Uh, the first one was amazing. I loved it. And I love the idea behind it. And the video is by um, Let's Be Frank. And I can't remember the name of the video. I think it was... I forgot, but I'll put the link in the description box because it's very important. And what Brother Let's Be Frank is talking about is um, the idea of the classic man slash educated lame slash outlier black men to... Um, start to perform, not, not perform, but start to form um, benefit, uh, some type of a benefit society. In other words, basically like almost like um, create like our own sort of club, a lot like either maybe the Masons or um, the Shriners or something like that along those lines, like a, like a, like a, you know, fraternity society, something like that. And, um, uh, uh, Kitigakure Jones, he did a video talking about this video and what um, uh, Let's Be Frank was talking about and what I thought was really cool that was that in the comments section of that video there had already been some discussion about um, certain stances and platforms that we would need to take in order for this thing to work and like what type of value system that we're going to have and rules and all that stuff like that. Um, one of the rules that I thought would be interesting or I thought was good was that, you know, no Democrats, no fucking Democrats at all. And the reason why I say that is because the Democrat party is the reason, a big part of the reason why we have so much failure in the black community as far as they run the school systems, which suck in the in the why well, they suck in the whole country, but they suck even worse in the black community. Um, yeah, I do think that tax base does have something to do with that, but at the same time, I remember seeing some video a couple years ago, and I believe it was in Georgia, where it was basically a pretty much black run school, and the black female teachers were helping the kids cheat on those standard, standardized tests. So I think that's a good example of what I'm talking about. But, uh, that, uh, the welfare system or the welfare mind state as uh, Obsidian Ali puts it, that's, they perpetuate it. And that's a big problem in the black community. That's a lot, a big contributing factor as to why the black community is so fucked up is that. So, I don't want just the idea of people with that type of mindset um, going into it really fucking puts me off. That's so I just said my piece. Um, I, I know I know at least one of you is going to come back. Someone's going to watch this video and say, "Well, uh, uh, it's it's Democrats are good because it's it's the it the uh, back in the '60s or '50s or whatever." Uh, that's when the two parties split over segregation and blah, blah, blah. That's absolute bullshit. And I'll tell you why. There's a guy named Robert Byrd, racist as fuck, KKK, Grand Dragon, Wizard, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, he was a senator or a governor or some state somewhere. Both Bill and Hillary Clinton fucking praised this guy up until like recently. Like I'm talking like... Within the past, he, when he died, Bill Clinton was basically up there giving a speech, apologizing for the guy. 
being being in the KKK. And then you guys are going to come back and tell me that the fucking party switched. Bullshit. Bullshit. Then on top of that, like I just said, Democrat policies are, are, are crippling, have crippled the black community. So the fucking racism never left. So don't... Uh, all right, sorry. I am kind of went off on a tangent there. But um, I think this is a good thing. I think this is great. I'm, I'm really happy about this. And I'm looking forward to watching the rest of the, the videos. Um, be forewarned, these videos are long. I think he has like, like eight or ten of them all together. So, you know, this is going to be some... I'm probably going to wear down all my high-speed data minutes um, on my phone what, listening to these things on the bus. Okay? And then... You know, let's add the fact that I I got some ADD issues going on, so I I just have a ton of different thoughts swirling in my head. You know, with this whole thing, I think it's great. I think it's wonderful. I would love to see it get off the ground. Um, yeah, I, I I really would like to see it. Um, I might even try and create a whole new Facebook page. Uh, just so I can be involved in this whole thing. And, you know, um, I think with the new Facebook rules, or if you want to make a new Facebook, you got to, like, include your fucking all kinds of weird-ass information, which I think is just a little bit too much. So, I don't know, maybe Google+, Plus. I don't, I don't know. But, again, this is, this is some good stuff. This is some definitely some good stuff. And... Something else I want to make sure that this is, like, about or something. Um, I don't want this to become, like, a racist type thing, okay? I think that me and Kiri Gakare Jones are basically in the same frame of mind in that This has to do with race, but it's not racist, and I don't even know how to describe that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best. I look at it like this. Am I a pro-black? Like, as far as, am I one of these, like, you know, back to Africa type people? Well, no, because I'm not from Africa, and I've never been there before. So how can I go back to something that I'm not from? I'm an American, Right? I, I and I agree with Kiri Gakare Jones as far as we I think our stance should be a pro American stance. We we unless you're from there and there's not I'm not saying there's anything right or wrong with being from there, but unless you're from there, you're you're not we're you know, we're not Africans. We're Americans. So I think that should be part of the stance so that we should definitely take a pro America stance. Um Obviously, you know, we're not white. We're not white, but we're not. I am not against white people. Now, I have a problem with people who are racist. I have a problem with people who are racist on the black side, racist on the white side, racist on the Asian side, racist on the Hispanic side. I don't give a fuck what race you are. If you're racist, you're racist, and I don't want to deal with you. So if you want to be racist, go be racist somewhere the fuck else. I don't want to, I don't want to be around that type of energy, I don't, and I don't care, again... I don't care what race you are. I don't want to be around your racist energy if you're a racist. Okay? Um, so let's not make this like an anti-white type of thing because that's not what it is. Now, even though a lot of this does um, incorporate the SYSBM mindset, lifestyle whatever philosophy, whatever it is that you want to call it. Um, I think that as black men, we have to realize that black women and well, black people in general, we have, I think we have an entirely, not completely entirely set of differences as far as gender relations are concerned between black men and black women, not entirely different, but 
they're different. Example, that Cheerios commercial with the biracial couple, right? It was, the, it was a black man and, and a white woman, right? And that commercial got a lot of hate. Well, who did that hate come from? That hate mostly came from white men and black women. Subsequently, we have shows like Scandal and I guess there is some new bachelorette, bachelor show and there is a black woman on the show and like all of the guys on the show are white. So is that show getting boycotted that I know of? No. Is that show getting as much hate as the Cheerios commercial? Probably not. So again, we've, we've got this lopsided sort of morality thing going on where it is, you know, black women and white men have no problem with, you know, them being together. No one freaks out. But if it's a black man and a white woman, you know, suddenly people got shit to say and they feel a certain type of way or whatever. So, um, in that regard, quote unquote, our women, unquote, um, are fucked up. We've, we've said it a zillion fucking times that, you know, they keep messing with these ass backwards type men and then produce ass backwards type children, which then produce an ass backwards community, which is ass backwards. Then once the women get tired of all that ass backwardsness that they've helped produce because they are the ones who have unprotected sex with these types of men that they know are fucked up from the get-go, then they want guys like me and us who are forward-thinking, progressive, SYSBM, moving forward, classic men, outliers, they want us to come in and fix their shit. No. Fuck no. Go find the motherfucker who fucked it up and get him to fix it. I'm fixing my shit. I'm making my shit better. I'm not fixing yours. I don't have time to fix yours. Plus, going into your neighborhood to fix your shit could get me killed. So fuck that. I'm not going. I'm not doing it. You do it. So I, I hope that that can... That's, that's my stance. That's how I see it. Right? Um, I hope people can understand that. Those of you who have been with me for the duration, um, you know what type of guy I am. You know I don't give a shit about anyone's race. I really don't. I don't care. I, all, what I care about is that you just be a, a good person. And if we work together, I want you to do your fucking job. I don't care. I don't care what you do. I, I mean, I'm... In that regard, I'm libertarian to the core. I don't give a fuck what race you are. Just, just be about it. Um, yeah, so that's all I got to say about this topic for now. I think it's a great idea. I would love to see us pull, pull our money together and do things to, uh, to help, to help, to help each other. Just, you know what, man, something Something that somebody said to me once a long time ago, um, well, not a long time ago, but you know, maybe two years ago on, on one of my comments on one of my videos, this guy said, you know, I've been watching your stuff for quite some time now, and um, I never commented before, but you helped me realize, like he, he was basically saying that, you know, I'm not ghetto. I realize that being ghetto is fucked up and I needed to hear you say that it's okay to not be ghetto because I thought that I was the one who was being fucking crazy by not wanting to be ghetto. In other words, you've helped me not be ghetto. 
and and that that felt really good you know like at, at that particular moment I was just like well you know something I did my job I could stop there I helped somebody I helped one person but I want to see more people get better anyway that's all I got for now um, I'll put the link in the description box good stuff check it out and uh, thanks